<laughs> I love that Felix has a painting of himself in his room. And you know what? He should. He absolutely should. Everyone should have a painting of Felix in their room. Because he is fantastic. Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here on the Freedom Farm. I hope your day is going wonderfully. Before we go any further, I would like to remind you to do the whole YouTube algorithm thing. The like and subscribe and comment and stuff. It does help me out. And the more of those you do, the more likely it is... What am I doing? The more likely it is that your... Uh, um, that my videos will show up in your inbox. So, as you can see, today is the bazaar, and we've got a lot of stuff to sell. And we also have some asparagus, which... Hold on. I just don't want to be pulling out the hoe and hitting it with it. But anyway, we're going to be turning these into seeds, and then our next harvest, we are going to finally have five-star asparagus. So... Uh, we want to head over to the grinding windmill as soon as possible and get that started. So, we're probably going to be a little delayed for the bazaar, but that's okay. We do want to turn... We do want to do uh, these asparagus two at a time just to make sure... Because I didn't actually check the wind. Yeah, it's only one star, so these asparagus seeds... Uh, doing two of them at a time is going to take eight hours. See? So we want to have those done in plenty of time. Because if we did them three at a time, it would be twelve. And if we did them six at a time, it would be twenty-four. It would take twenty-four hours, and so we wouldn't be able to plant them today. Alright, let's see what seeds. No cabbage. No silver. My goodness. know what I'm looking for over here. Oh, there's a black dog, so we'll be able to get a fourth dog. And we can get some chicles. Herb butter, matcha, turnip, milk, eggs, mint. Hey, Frey, are you going to actually buy something this time? Maybe some mint to go with your chocolate? Right? No, of course not. Hey there, we're the famous comedy duo, Lucy and Ricky. Thank you for inviting us to perform here today. What? Lucy's not here? Where did she go? I can't do this by myself. Come back here, Lucy. You got some explaining to do. Looks like you're working hard. How are things going? <laughs> Good to hear. That's the type of positive attitude I like to see. Herb butter, yarn, honey, turnips, cucumbers, eggs. Come on, Pierre, you love some cucumbers, right? Some fresh cucumbers. Hey there, we're the famous comedy too. You know, it, it should actually disable them from repeating in the same bazaar. I mean, come on. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Pierre. Greetings, Ray. How are you today? Oh, this bowl of wool is quite nice. It's gonna cost me, but I might win reputation here. No, oh, quite a salesperson, Ray. Turnips, cucumbers, strawberries, eggs. Mint. It looks like you're working hard, right? But are you also eating as well as you're working? <laughs> Wonderful. Your body is a temple, you know. Keep it up, then. Okay. This one should win it for me. I was wondering if you could tell me where the wrapping stall is. Down and to the left. Oh, thank you for telling me. I'll come back later and buy something. Yeah, sure you will, but at least I'll win on reputation. It looks like you're working hard, right? By the way, are you keeping up with your cooking practice? How wonderful. 
Oh, you should enter a dish in the next cooking festival. I did, or I will. I mean, I entered the last cooking festival, so. Sea urchins, turnips, strawberries, eggs, scrap metal. We actually also might get third. That would be uh, pretty astounding. All this food here picks up scrap metal. Okay, cool. Turnips, small coins, butterfly. I can't go on anymore. Not another step. I'm pooped. I might be okay if I had this pale clad yellow. Oh, you're so kind. I'm so moved. Thank you. Turnips! Come on! Well, we met the goal, so we actually will probably get third, might get second. I don't even remember. Oh, there we go. Never mind. I'm really excited that I've got nothing. Yeah, it is pretty great. Alright, and this one is going to be named Gunny. Alright, so we're going to pick up two chickens. And this one will be Latias. And this one will be Latios. Go ahead and get our fortune red. Welcome, welcome. Would you like your fortune red? It's just 100G. Abracadabra, what fate lies in wait for you? Relaxing is nice, but try adding some excitement to your life. You already you already gave me that fortune, dude. That's not that's not helpful. Welcome to Lucky Lotto. Care to play? One ticket is 300G. Oh, nice. That's the first one. Remember, we play five rounds. Nothing. Have we done three or four rounds? <laughs> Pretty good, yeah, okay. Long boots, yeah, thanks. Okay, that's not bad. We're gonna go ahead and sell these. Um. Well, welcome to my food stand. Strawberry sweet, fish stew. Let's try some fish stew. How many would you like? That'll be 420G. Thanks. I'll throw in the recipe for you too. And we'll stop by Isaac's stall. Hey, this is just a rumor, really. Have you been cooking, Ray? Nelly's cooking is so good, it's part of the reason I'm so fat. Being able to cook well can help you in many ways. If any other hot info comes along, you'll certainly hear about it. Okay. No, sure, that's fine. have a sip of tea with our fish stew. Mmm. That was delicious. Thank you for the tea, Joan. Thank you for the food. And we'll go ahead and sell these. If we can, in the next half hour. Tea. White bread crumbs. Long boots. Yeah, your chances of selling anything in the last half hour are pretty low, but I figured I'd give it a shot. There's not really... If we expand our bazaar stall, that's 60,000. If we expand the field to the basement greenhouse, that's 100,000. If we expand our... Uh, um... Whatchamacallit? If we expand our storage, that's 60,000. And there was another thing we could have gotten. 
and if we power up our storage, that's sixty thousand. So we'd be spending a minimum of sixty thousand G, and with each, it's uh, not great. <laughs> you know, Lloyd, do you like tea? <laughs> hey, nice, thanks. I, I think Lloyd likes tea. He might only like straight tea, but. I know. I actually managed to reach the goal this time, though, which surprised even me. Hmm? Oh, Ray, it's late. Shouldn't you get to bed soon? Every time I do the mayor's voice, Lincoln thinks that he needs to get up and go. Oh, I didn't pick up any potato seeds. That was the other thing I was going to get. Oh, wow. Good evening. Is it normal to be out this late? Well, I mean, on a bizarre day, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The outside world is teeming with life. Yeah, you should try stepping out of your shrine more often. Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bizarre results! Our top three earners in third place with 64,000 G! Wilbur, congratulations! In second place with 81,020 G. Hey, we did manage to get second. Cool. Ray, congratulations! <laughs> and in first place with 129,000 G. We never stood a chance. Roll store, congratulations! And the person with the happiest customers was... Ray! Customers seem to like your attitude towards running a business! <laughs> you all done the town proud! Keep up the good work! Hmm? You're in the top three and you have the best reputation! Fantastic! I'm awarding you this prize for your efforts! A chamomile tea! Nice. We'll have some of that tonight. For our goal to be the best bazaar on the continent, we are slowly inching forward. Our progress seems slow, but we've got to keep at it! Okay, let's keep trying! Our goal for the next bazaar is 80,000 to 100,000 G! We can do it! Well, that's all for now. Start getting ready for the next bazaar! So, uh, I realized last night that I actually hadn't given a farm update yesterday. And so, I apologize for that. My mind was kind of in panic mode because of the bazaar. But anyway, um, so obviously for today's episode, we had the bazaar. That was yesterday. Um, and then today is Joan's birthday, which the reason why I was thinking about how, oh gosh, I didn't do the update is because um, I didn't get any... get. Joan's birthday present wrapped, nor did I get Claude's birthday present wrapped, because his birthday is in two days. Um, but I think that's gonna be pretty much it. Uh, unless Daisy... Yeah, sure, thanks. Anyway, unless Daisy goes up to, um, to Yellow Heart, we shouldn't really have anything else be getting done for this episode. I mean, I guess I could, if, if Amiko goes up to no. So, one of the things about Amiko is that in order to see her heart events, you have to give her a certain number of gifts. So it's not just enough to have her at the right friendship points level, at the right heart level. And in order to see her purple heart event, you need to give her 30 gifts, I do believe. And obviously that takes at least a month, usually more, because of the whole you can't see her on rainy days thing. Um, our cows, our baby cows and our baby sheep should probably grow up before the next bazaar. Um, I guess we'll have to see about that, though. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? I think I already have jelly donut recipe, so... I guess I'll just have some oolong tea. 
And as for your birthday present, well, I'll get the, I'll, I'll get it. Don't worry. Very delicious, John. Thank you. Pull out the fairly fresh one. Wow, I really like this. Yes! Orange heart. Thank you. Oh, my birthday gift. It's wonderful. Thank you, dear. I want to check the bookshelf. Oh, what is this? Are you home, Ray? We're coming in, dear. What? Oh, because I have Sherry at Orange Heart. I forgot about this. I forgot that it's not at the hotel, but at the home. Sorry to bother you, but it's very important. I'll cut to the chase. You're in love, right? Deny it. It's written all over your face, dear. I knew it. We're so good at this. You're thinking about proposing, right? We brought you something to help out with that. It's a blue feather. You give it to someone to propose to them. This is the one I gave Ethel. It certainly brought us a lot of happiness. Just make sure you give it to the right person. The feather won't do it all. You have to have a good relationship with the person and their friends and family. I'm sure you can do it, Ray. Well, we'll be on our way now. Good luck. So you get the blue feather when um, when a person is at orange heart level. You can propose to somebody whenever you have a blue feather, but that's it won't work. Um, you need to have them at red heart level, and you need to have their family at uh, um, at thirty thousand friendship points. That's the equivalent of green heart level or higher. One other thing I forgot to mention, in order to propose, you need the big bed. So, uh, you do need to purchase that at the bazaar. We could do that this next bazaar, I guess. Did I forget to fertilize those? I, I think I forgot to fertilize the last strawberries in the row. Well... Okay. Unless there's some sort of weird thing where... Where the seeds save, like, the percentage of the way up to the next heart level. Then I think I forgot to fertilize the last, the, the last strawberries I planted. Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? Okay, so I already have both of those, so we're just going to have some tea. Mmm, delicious, Joan. Thank you very much. Hey, Ray. Good morning. The mayor is crazy ripped. His arms are like twice as big as Dad's. <laughs> Such Although they're usually hidden behind those glasses. I mean, he's best husband though for a reason. Oh, good morning. You off to work? Morning, Ray. You look sleepy. I think pranks are an art. What? You don't like planks? Planks? What? You don't like pranks? You sound like my mom. Yeah, well, your mom's got a point, kid. So, we went from having um, six day episodes to five-day episodes, to me being like, oh, well, I'm so sorry for these five-day episodes. Let's go back to six-day episodes. And now, four-day episodes are 
pushing the time limit. Even when it rains. That's uh, pretty interesting, I guess. Well, we already got all this. So, just gonna have some tea. Mm, thank you, Joan. That was very delicious. How long has it been since we last ate? I think it was the bazaar. And that's the only time we've eaten in the past week. I really love to cook. The next time I make something, you should try it, right? You know, that's not a bad idea. Hmm. <laughs> I love that Felix has a painting of himself in his room. And you know what? He should. He absolutely should. Everyone should have a painting of Felix in their room. Because he is fantastic. Good evening. Is this a birthday present for me? Oh, nice. Thank you. All right. Well, sorry for that being such a dreary episode. Uh, but it's going to have to end here. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Just a reminder, if you are watching this on the main channel within two hours of it going live, that means that I am streaming on the streaming channel right now. And I would appreciate it if you would come over and say hello. A link for that will be in the description. Um, but other than that, I think that will be everything. And I will see you later. Bye.